Hi, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to remove henna from your hair. Um, I have done this previously, but I didn't show the results in a video or explain it. I have written a blog post about it though, and have had quite a few questions, so I thought I'd put it into a video. Also, I recently used henna to dye my hair because I wanted to um, improve the condition of it, and I thought it might straighten out the curls a little bit, which it did, but it's just a little bit too dark for me, the colour. Um, so I've decided to remove it and just go back to more of a natural colour for myself. Um, I used a hair colour remover called Jobaz Hair Colour Remover Max. The hair colour removal works by shrinking the dye molecules so that they can be rinsed away. And I rinsed it for 30 minutes but I broke it up into two parts. So I rinsed for 15 minutes, then I shampooed the hair. Then I rinsed it again for 15 minutes and shampooed it again. And then I used a conditioner that has no cone in it. So that's no ingredient that ends in O-N-E, uh, for example, silicon. So you've just got to look at the bottle of conditioner just to make sure it doesn't have any of those ingredients in it. The conditioner I used is Tresemme Botanic Restore and Shine with coconut milk and aloe. After I rinsed my hair and then conditioned it, I also put a treatment on just to restore the condition of my hair a bit more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this again and um, I will show you what the hair looks like with the henna removed um, before I uh, put the proper colour on my hair as well. So now the henna removal is complete and as you can see it is quite a bit lighter. I had dyed my hair a dark brown and then I put the henna on it and the result was actually quite dark, a little bit too dark for what I liked. Um, this is a lot closer to my natural colour but it's got a little bit of a yellow orangey tinge in it. Um, that's because permanent colour has hydrogen peroxide and ammonia in it and that's so it lightens the hair colour so the hair can be dyed on a blank canvas. That's just how permanent hair colour works. Um, I will go ahead and put a natural uh, hair colour on top of this just to even it out and bring it back to a more natural tone. Um, but yeah, this is, this is quite close to my natural so I'm pretty pleased about that. When removing henna though, it does take a few goes. It depends on how many times you have applied the henna. So this time round I only applied henna once so the hair removal worked in one go. Um, but say for example you've applied it three times and you may have to do three hair colour removals before you get all of those henna tones out. Um, yeah, it can, be, it can be a bit tricky but it, it is possible as you can see. But I'll go ahead now and I'll put the hair colour on and um, I'll show you what the results are. So I have now coloured my hair and I'm really happy with the results. Um, it's a nice natural brown. Um, the colour is Herbitint 7N which actually says blonde on the box but as you can see it is quite brown like just a nice natural light brown. Uh, very close to my natural. Um, really easy to apply as well. The only thing is it doesn't have anything to apply the colour with so you may need a little dish and a, um, an applicator brush or you can save one of the little bottles from another colour and just shake it up and apply it with that. It's quite easy to do it that way as well. Uh, something in the future that I might have to remember when I colour my hair is that to use an ex like a darker colour. Um, so 7N is the colour that I have but I will probably need to use a 6N on the roots because they tend to colour quicker because of the heat of the scalp. And you can end up with something called hot roots which is the appearance of a lighter colour at the scalp, or it actually is a lighter colour at the scalp, and it doesn't sort of blend into the rest of the colour, and that's because of the heat of the scalp processing the colour quicker. So when I do my regrowth, I'll probably choose a 6N, and then as I wash it and it grows out, it'll probably fade to a 7N. So that's just been my experience with colouring my own hair as well. Um, but Herbitint, fantastic product. Um, the fumes, really low fumes, um, not annoying at all, not irritating at all. Um, and the condition of my hair is great, really, 
I think it's better than it was before with the henna. Um, I'm sure the, the cassia that I had applied that made my hair really, really dry is probably all out of my hair now. The henna is definitely out of my hair and the condition's just, yeah, just so much better than it was. Um, so I'll continue to use Herbitint, really pleased with the results. Um, I also put a treatment in when I'd finished and um, yeah, this is the result. You can probably see Probably hard to see that it is it is lighter, but um, out, outside it is a nice light brown. Just a bit hard to tell indoors, but yeah, I'll keep using Herbitint. Really happy with the results. If you have any questions about anything I've talked about in this video, don't hesitate to send me a message and I'll see you in my next video.